Hi Aries, welcome to your end of December tarot reading. So I already laid out all the cards for you guys, so let's just hop right into it. So current energy, we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Empress, and the Five of Pentacles in reverse. If you have been expecting um, money, growth, and expansion, I feel like you've been working really hard and you've gotten to this place finally where it's like, I can breathe. I've reached this level that I've wanted to reach. I've I've gotten this certain money uh, amount that I've wanted to get. I've I've got you know the girl that I wanted to get. Um, everything that you want to attract, you finally got into this place that it's like wow, I'm at the top and I'm never going back to the bottom. I'm never you know I'm never slumming again. Okay, I feel that strongly here with this energy. Um, with emergence and expectancy here, I just feel like you are shining. It's your time to shine. It's your day in the sun. With earth connection and balance, I don't want to say this is a long time coming, but you've definitely been working for this. And with earth connection, I feel like you're in your element. You're super grounded right now, Aries. And... Um, I love that for you. You're feeling super balanced. You're feeling like you're have a nice harmony with your inner peace and with your surroundings. Okay? You're really growing. You've grown and you've expanded here. You've surrendered to the divine. You've trusted the process. You've trusted your intuition. You've taken care of yourself and you're about to see all the fruits of your labor if you haven't already. The end of December is beautiful for you. Lucky numbers 8, 5, and 2. Making the necessary changes for your abundance and growth. You could be a Cancer Moon. You could have Cancer in your chart. Um, but I feel like the more you, you nurture yourself and the more you listen to your intuition, the more you're just going to evolve and become more sharp, more um, intelligent. It's only up from here. I only see you growing and expanding. Um... And trusting your intuition at this time is pivotal and key to your um, sustenance and your maintenance of yourself, okay? That's what I'm seeing here for you, Aries. And, I mean, that's as good as it gets. The Empress is as good as it gets. The Ten of Pentacles. If you're um, wanting, you know, a family, I see that coming in for you. I do. It's just a nice energy. Whatever you're wanting to attract at this time, it's coming in for you, Aries. It really is. Giving birth to new ideas, having new ideas, planting seeds, uh, reaping your harvest. It's, it's like all here for you. Also, to, you know, remember to surrender to the to the divine and to trust the process and to not um, be so focused on the desired outcome but enjoying the journey and basking in the sun and um, you know really enjoying the small moment and being in the now can you give me incoming energy for Aries please Give me three cards for Aries and their incoming energy. We have the Hierophant, marriage, family, commitment. We have the Page of Pentacles, but someone doesn't want to let you know that because they're healing. Okay. So I do see... You know, someone thinking about committing to you, someone thinking about coming towards you. But if it's not, you know, if it's not as quickly as, you know, maybe I'm saying it is because that that person is healing or maybe you're healing. 
okay maybe you do want commitment and you do want a family but right now you're more more focused on your own energy you're more focused on your own energy you do have an angel watching over you and um i feel like this is divine intervention taking place here if you don't make a decision, the universe will. You see what I'm saying here? So, beautiful energy for you, um, Aries. I just want to keep it short and sweet. So, that's what I have for you. I love you, and I'll see you in your next reading. Like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel drawn to do that. I love you, and bye.